Hi guys, uh, this is the next installment of my vlog about my experience teacher. I'm, it's been so long, I don't know what number this is. Um, but I thought in this video I'd just uh, get everyone up to speed on where I was in the process uh, and in particular at the start of the um, baseline testing. I've just finished baseline testing but I'll just show you uh, in this video the setup uh, for what that baseline topic looked like. Um, so how I started it is mapping the um, outcomes that we've got as uh, in our uh, syllabus and programs. Uh, so getting the outcomes for each one. So the outcomes I've put along here and then what I tried to do is map each of these to um, a Bloom's taxonomy level of activity. So what I did is I mapped each one of these to an activity with a remembering, understanding, applying, analyzing. Uh, now most of the uh, verbs in our programs that what we're aiming for the kids are in this sort of understand, applying. Uh, we don't generally have a lot of analyzing, evaluating in there, uh, but fortunately there's not a lot of well, there is remembering and understanding, but there's not uh, remembering as in the goal. Um, so basically, it then meanders around the middle here. So what I did is then I took this uh, format and I turned it into what I've called a learning journey um, and uh, put it into a pictorial representation so the kids are actually able to uh, follow where they're supposed to be up to. So I've got my little start point. Um, so then... At the start of the topic, we then watch a video on continental drift, um, and this is uh, internally linked uh, so that they can just click on that link and it'll go to a video, uh, and they can watch that video, and then from there they can go, all right, the next thing I need to do is a concept map, uh, and they can click on that link and it'll bring up a uh, image of the concept map that they've used. Now, for this, um, I've actually printed these out, so I've got these in a folder in the class, but it means that they can um, have a look at what they're supposed to like, this, so they can see the sheet that they're supposed to be looking for, um, and also if there is um, links in the sheet, as there is sometimes, uh, they can um, click on those links. Close that up. Uh, so click on those links. So I actually will then um, print out uh, this copy of it and for them. Now each of these has a learning goal on it, so all the each activity has a learning goal um, and they have a QR code. So what I've done is I've mapped these QR codes uh, to a video uh, that I've set up and this is just on a um, private link. Um, so in this video they can then watch me and this is a fairly simple one so it's a short explanation uh, but they can watch me give them an explanation of the actual activity. Now this isn't really important at the moment because I'm in the classroom, I'm explaining it to them as we're doing it, uh, but once we get into that self-guided, I wanted them to be able to get that explanation um, there. Uh, and so from there, um, they can choose to continue on to the next focus point, uh, or if they're struggling with this, they can do one of these ones and it's their uh, remediation activities basically or as the kids are calling them the easy activities um, and then over this side uh, I've got extension activities so that if you've done this uh, you might want to do an extension activity out of any of these three in this case um, then video activity and then we get to a mastery check now these are must just mastery checks so it's a little quiz for them some are online some are paper-based ex extended responses uh, but just so that they're getting some feedback on their understanding of this uh, now at this this stage it's not a mastery stop uh, so they don't have to actually master it to continue um, it's just checking where they are uh, in their understanding so theoretically a student would be able to follow directly down this page um, and get, providing that they don't struggle with it and need to go and do the remediation activities, they would um, actually get the whole topic from that. Um, hopefully, they also choose to extend themselves. Um, the only different activity is, I did a literacy activity in there, um, which is reading this um, article, uh, which that link goes to, not that one, this article here. Um, and so on SoundCloud, I uh, dictated that article. Um, so just for, uh, so that we can still do literacy with those whose um, reading isn't uh, quite up to scratch. So they can actually click that, have me talk, 
and follow along uh, with me here. Um, so that's kind of the setup. Uh, I'll do another video in a sec where I actually look at um, how the kids or things that I'm noticing about how they're responding to it. Um, but yeah, th if that's it, if you've got any questions, uh, drop me a message uh, and I'm happy to share. Peace out.